Hi there, it's Scott, and I decided to record this quick video. Uh, I just literally finished taking DP900 exam just a few minutes ago. I took the online proctoring version and ended the test and immediately turned on the webcam to record some thoughts. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the online proctoring process, that part, and then I'll talk about um, my thoughts about the exam itself, but I can't get into too much detail, of course. So the online proctoring process, I've never taken an online proctored exam before. Um, I've taken dozens of, of exams at real um, testing centers. And the reason for that is because I like going there. Um, it's a controlled environment. Uh, I don't have to, like other than sit my, myself on a chair and log in the computer, that's all I need to do. Uh, the online proctoring experience was a bit more involved, a bit more stressful. Uh, so I tested my computer to make sure that it would work, and it did. Um, I had to clear off my table. I got rid of all the papers and everything that would be on my table, which is I should do anyways. Had to unplug my second monitor, so my um, second monitor is powered off, facing away from me. I had to clean off my whiteboard. I have a whiteboard with some notes on it. I, I got rid of my calendar, got rid of all my post-it notes and things. Um, totally pristine environment, which is probably pretty good for working and other things. But but for the exam, I had to do that. But I have a bookcase beside me, and I was just wondering, like, I can't move the bookcase, and I and I can't avoid the fact that it's beside me. Is that going to be an issue? The room has a door. That's fine. Nobody would interrupt me. That's fine too. So I was a bit worried. Uh, logged in. So I I decided to log in early. I know that you can log in 30 minutes before your exam time and I figured I needed that time, my first time and I don't know what, what's going to happen, um, how long it takes really to validate yourself and, and what if it doesn't work and all that stuff. So I purposely went in half an hour early um, because the cutoff is 15 minutes after. So I would have had, my exam was at 3. I had between 2.30 and 3.15 to figure everything out, which I thought was a lot of time. Um, still stressful. Like, you know, you never know. Until you're logged in, you're ready to go take the test, you don't know that they're going to reject you uh, or you have to, you know, move things out of the way or whatever. I didn't have many problems. I, I followed the app. I texted it to myself. I used my phone to take some pictures. Um, seemed pretty straightforward, although a little bit lengthy. It took, it took a little bit of time. My room is a bit awkward, so trying to take a picture from behind my desk when my desk is against a wall, from the left side of my desk when it's against a window, it's sort of uh, some awkward photos, but I guess that's life. Um, we didn't have any problems with that. Now, when we got online, the first person you talk to is not the proctor, but in fact, a, some you know, an exam technician, if you will. And uh, her name was Erin, and she um, validated everything, all the information I sent in, and tried to start the exam. But the exam failed. Uh, the first thing I had to do was, was kill my antivirus. I have malware bytes running, and so I had to kill malware bytes. And then it failed again, and I had to kill Logitech's webcam service. And so it's very sensitive in terms of what it allows and what it doesn't allow. Um, finally, it worked on the third attempt. No, I mean, no big deal, I guess, but a little stressful. Um, once it started, pretty good. I got into the groove of answering questions. It took probably five or ten minutes for the proctor to come along. And at first, the proctor couldn't see me. And she said, I can't see you. I go, oh, well, I can see myself. Um, so she had to do something on her end. And then she had to have me take the webcam and revalidate my space. That's a little bit distracting. Like if you're taking a test and you have only those those hour, two hours to take a test, to have to stop and then spend five minutes answering questions, a bit distracting. Also, there's this big pop-up. Whenever they want to chat with you, it pops up. And um, you're trying to answer some questions and there's a, there's a chat window open and someone's, you know, like when they're, they're typing, but you don't, the three dots. Um, 
So I had I actually got to answer one, two, three questions while I'm waiting for them to say something. But that window's in the way. A little bit distracting. So that's my online experience. I guess I would rate it eight out of 10. I lose a point because of my own stress. I had no clue of what to experience um, going into it. I didn't have a video like this to tell me what to expect. Uh, and then of course there were a couple of technical difficulties. The software is very sensitive. Oh, one, I mean, my, my exam on the 21st question stopped working. And uh, it said it um, Adobe Creative Cloud was checking for updates. Okay, come on. Like I have to kill Creative Cloud, the backend service. Um, but then getting back into the exam, I didn't lose anything and it just distracted me for about 60 seconds. So um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a huge um, problem. So eight out of 10. Um, the exam itself, DP900, I'm gonna do a course on this. Um, Pretty basic stuff. It took me about 30 minutes to answer the questions. I'm not going to tell you uh, how many questions there were, but, you know, I was pretty quick pace. Some of the questions were like instantly I knew the answer. I saw the question, saw the answer, checked the radio button next. Saw the question, saw the answer, clicked the radio button next. I can get through questions in just a few seconds. A couple of questions I would consider to be tricky. There were some surprises there. Um, I'm going to incorporate those surprises and things into my course, of course. Um, but pretty straightforward, except for maybe three things that um, there were some things I thought would have been obscure that kept being asked like three and four different ways. I don't know if this is a beta technique where they're trying to figure out, they want to ask one or two questions, but they have to ask five to find which one or two is the right. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm confident I passed. I'm confident I got a good score. I don't know I got 100%. Maybe I got 900. Find, it'll take me weeks, months even to find out my score. So. That, uh, that I don't know, but it'll be interesting. Anyways, this has been Scott, um, rambled on enough. Beta exams online, not so bad. Um, my stress level was higher than it, it probably needs to be. And the exam itself, quite easy. So, and I got it, there's a uh, discount code, so I only paid $20 for the beta. Anyways, um, I might do another one. Maybe I'll do the AI one. I'll check, I'll check that out for tomorrow. Uh, thanks a lot, take care.